Hello boys and girls, welcome back to the Steak and Brush. I'm Christine, and it's been a hot minute since I have filmed. Um, yeah, I, I have no excuse for it whatsoever. Well, maybe a little bit. I'll get into that. Um, but today I thought we'd just kind of have a chatty get ready with me, try a couple of new products that I have received in the mail, and um, maybe do a kind of gross story time <laughs> of an incident that just happened to me. So, um, yeah, let's just kind of get into it. Um, I don't even know exactly what all I'm putting on my face except for the couple of things that I did get. I do want to try, I got the new Wayne Goss um, Bronze and Sculpt palette and I got the Pat McGrath dupe from Alter Ego Luster. It's a dupe for their Divine Rose. I can't remember if it's the first or second. Either way, I don't have it. So there's where we're going today. Um, let's see, where do we want to start? Yes, I'm going to try, uh, I'm going to prime my face with this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Um, so yeah, um, where have I been? Or why haven't, actually I haven't, I, I have like four or five videos that I just haven't edited. Um, and hopefully I have at least one of them up before this one goes up. But, um, yeah, I haven't posted in like two weeks because I haven't edited. I haven't edited mostly because I'm lazy. <laughs> But not just because I'm lazy, because I'm lazy and I have started something new. Um, I finally decided enough was enough. I needed to lose some weight. Um, I'm going to go in with this KVD Good Apple Foundation in medium 27. I have a feeling this might be a little light. Yeah, it's probably going to be a lot light now, but oh well. I'm not going anywhere. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. Enough was enough. I needed to lose weight. And I normally don't like to talk about weight loss or anything like that. And I won't be talking a lot about it. But um, I signed up for Noom. Um, my sister-in-law and mother-in-law swear by it. And I have both had success. Um, so... I'm trying it and so far I'm doing pretty well um, I don't I've never paid for anything before until now and I think that's part of the motivation I'm like I paid for it I'm gonna freaking use it um, and uh, I uh, So yeah, um, but what I've been doing with that is I have been walking a lot for me. Um, if you don't know, I, I have mobility issues and pain issues and I walk with a cane. So walking is not an easy thing for me, but you know, I gotta move. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's what I've been... and. I gotta tell you, just walking for like, you know, up to an hour a day takes a lot out of me. Um, and so I get tired. I mean, you know, I do get energy from it, I, you know, and I know it's good, but it's hard on me. And so sometimes I'm just like, I don't want to do anything else. But, you know, I, I, I do feel better for doing it. Um... And I'm glad I'm doing it. <laughs> I've gone out and I've done, you know, it's stupid. I know it is. But, you know, I bought, well, I know I needed to buy new shoes because my old shoes were very old. Um, and by the way, before I get into that, um, the KVD, um, hopefully I'll get the video up beforehand, my review of this. I do like it, but it is finicky. Um, and I have found I have to set it, so, you know, but it was, it's also a full coverage and 
um, because I've been out and I've been walking a lot, even though I put on 50 um, SPF sunscreen and I put the right amount on, but probably more than the right amount on every day, I'm still getting sun. I don't know if I'm probably going to need to, I don't know, get a hat or something else too, but um, yeah. Um, so I wanted to use that. Um, so for powder for setting it, I'm going to go in with the AOA Studio Perfect. If I could turn my hand that way. Um, so yeah, I made the classic, you know, stupid mistake. I've gone out and bought a lot of things that I really, I know I didn't need, but I did need new shoes. So I did, you know, I got a good deal on those, but I did buy some, you know, like, leggings and shorts and stuff for specifically for uh walking and I I always feel like and here I'll be showing my age um well maybe not because it's you know it's come back and I know millennials like to watch it too but um Golden Girls if you remember the episode where they join a gym and uh they're going to like an aerobics class or something and the, uh, oh, I should have done my, I'm going to go back in, um, my concealer. Um, I'm going to go in with the um, Mega Last Wet n Wild Incognito. Um, yeah, but the, the uh, person that signs them up with the gym, gym membership convinces them that they need all these new snazzy clothes and uh, and they go in and I'll see if I can find a picture of it I'll put it up there you know, and they buy all this stuff it's like sequined and you know all fancy and stuff and I think Rose is the only one who doesn't buy it and she just shows up and sweats and everybody else in the class is just in those things and they look you know ridiculous standing out and I feel like I look like you know a bright potato <laughs> <laughs> in these clothes but you know I figure if it motivates me to get off my ass and do it you know it's worth it so yeah I have been doing that and that's what I've been doing a lot I also found um well I didn't find it my friend Mandy thank you so so much um found a yoga video uh, that has chair yoga. This this one teacher, um, I'll try to remember to link her down below, but um, she's the yoga room from something, round something Texas, and she's great. And uh, she has videos, she has regular yoga videos, but she also has them for people with mobility issues so that it shows you how to... Um, modify things and it also has she has a video that's just chair yoga so you know if you're limited to sitting in a chair you can still do stuff so that's where I am with that okay all right so let's try this Wayne Goss. Um, I skipped his last, I really wanted the blush. Um, I don't know why I skipped it, but I did. Um, I'll probably end up eventually going back and getting it. Um, and I didn't get his Topaz palette. It looked pretty enough, but you know, his first palette, I thought it was nice, but for six pans, it wasn't really enough for me for six pans for like $55. Um, I am so in love with bronzer though. So I did get this. It has some cooler toned um, contour, which I've never really done. I've always done bronze tour. So we'll try a little bit of that today. And then the actual bronzer and I got it in satin bronze. So it's the, um, it's like the medium color. I think, I think there were only three. So let's try just contouring a bit. Let's see how that goes. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna contour up here. I'm gonna contour down here and I'm gonna use this around my chin and you know, to try to hide some of that uh, <laughs> a double chin there, or not really hide it, but uh, 
camouflage it and probably around my nose. I feel like this is the right color for me though. And I swear I will dye my roots sometime soon. <laughs> I think one of my last videos, I don't um I don't know if it'll be up by now, but it's been two weeks ago. My daughter fell and hurt her ankle. And she is my home hairdresser. <laughs> I cannot I cannot bleach my hair myself. It's just too much and I'm afraid of missing stuff. So she does it for me and she's just now getting to the point. She had a boot on for like a week and a half and she's just now getting to the point where she's, you know, feeling better about walking around. Okay. I don't know if that's too... In this light, it doesn't look too much like just a stripe of gray, but you never know. Okay, let's get into the bronzer. And this is, in case you haven't seen, I don't know if, again, I don't know if this video will go up, the ColourPop Lemoncello. I love this brush. You know what I didn't do? I didn't do my nose. I haven't been doing a lot of makeup recently, again, because I get up and I walk and then I don't feel like doing anything else and I'm definitely not doing makeup before I go for a walk. Okay. All right, now let's get into the bronzer. blends really well with the contour. It does have just a little bit of shine there. Or just, like, I mean, like the microest amount of like micro glitter kind of thing in there. Okay. So I promised you, or I said we might get into kind of a gross story. Um, I will try to remember to put a timestamp up. So if you don't want to listen to it, you don't have to. Um, but this happened to me just a couple days ago. Um, yeah. So like I said, I've been walking. And my whole neighborhood is just like one giant connection of cul-de-sacs, you know, small little cul-de-sac streets that all kind of connect together. So I usually just walk around the neighborhood because it's almost entirely flat, like these smallest little hills that are easy enough for me. Um, let's see what brush do I want. Let's try this. Uh, no, I've tried this one. Um, I want to try, I've got three of the Lemoncello collection. From ColourPop. I don't think I, I think this is the one I haven't tried. This is the Coastal Life. Coastal Drive. Um, yeah, so I'm on my walk. I'm doing good. I'm probably about three fourths of the way around where I go. And I start not to feel so great. Um, if you have had your gallbladder out, you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, when you have your gallbladder out, and mine's been out for just over 10 years, 
by the way this works really well over powder I really like this formula um, when you've had your gallbladder out when you gotta go and I'm not talking just go and pee but when you gotta go you gotta go I mean your body gives you very very limited warning <laughs> So I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm like, uh-oh, mm, uh-oh. <laughs> so I pick up my pace a little bit and I get to the top of my street, which, you know, it's a very small street, but you know, there's like five houses on each side down to where mine is. So, you know, Cause I'm pretty much just down by the end of the cul-de-sac. So I'm getting down the hill, get on my street Every couple of uh, steps I take, I have to stop. I'm stopping. I'm like, oh God, oh God. <laughs> and I'm like, it's great, you know, it's great exercise for my glutes because I was just like, you know, tightening them. I take a couple steps, I'm like, okay, breathe, tighten. You know, you're you're gonna make it, and I get to pretty much my lawn I'm like oh thank god thank god I sent my daughter a text and I said open the door you know unlock the door because I thought you know I've got a key on me but every little second counts so I get to my yard and my neighbor goes hey Christine hey Christine now I love my neighbor they have been the absolute best neighbors in the world they help us out all the time, you know, and not just like, hey, can I borrow a cup of sugar, you know, I mean, they, they would bend over backwards for us. My daughter spent, you know, half of her youth over there because the neighbor's daughter is her best friend. I mean, you know, they're great people and we're hiring their son this year to mar lawn and do some like, taking up a tree and you know some stuff like that so she stops me like hey come over here I want to show you something on the side of your house I want to ask you about it do you want us to do this I'm like oh god oh god so I suck it all in <laughs> and I'm trying you know I'm trying to make it look like my I'm only sweating because I've been walking <laughs> not because I'm holding it in and you know again she's being great she's doing all the stuff talking to me saying how you know you know she noticed some things like hey i noticed you know grace is starting to my daughter grace is starting to practice her driving that kind of stuff and just having a wonderful conversation and all i'm thinking is don't poop don't poop don't poop it was so horrible but i'm glad that i can announce that i made it <laughs> It was a horrifying experience, <laughs> but oh, so it's gross. I apologize for that, but it was just, I mean, looking like in the time it was horrible, but looking back, it was very, very funny. And I thought, you know, I know a lot of people that watch this are about my age and, you know, a lot of us have had gallbladders removed and know what that's like. Oh, okay. I'm just going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow is just doing my normal thing. Yeah. I also know that that was also just like, I haven't seen the full episode yet. I saw I caught my husband watching the beginning of it, but it happened like on Bob's Burgers too. So, or some, something similar. there's anything else that's been going on in the past two weeks I mean we just had Easter but we don't do a lot for Easter oh Grace will be 21 <laughs> 21 next month so it's not like we're you know hunting Easter eggs or anything
I'm just we're pretty much just chilling because my husband had to work. Okay, do those eyebrows look anything similar? Not really at all. Oh well, they'll do. Alright, um, let's go in with my uh, Photo Focus Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eye Primer because it's pretty, not, you know, it doesn't really have a color to it, and so I can get, I can see what the actual colors are in this pe uh, palette. Just, just this and the Wing Goss actually just came in today. And. If you haven't seen, Alter Ego's got like three new palettes that have come out pretty recently. Um, one's a, there's two Natasha Denona dupes, and I have the original palette, so I didn't get those. One for the bronze palette, and one for the love palette. A cat? Yes, there's a cat. I felt a tickle on my calf. Um, so I didn't get those, but then just last Thursday. And today's Monday. The shipping was super fast. Alter Ego is terrific. Um, but uh, they came out with this. And like I said, it's their Luster palette. It's 10 pans. Um, and it came out, uh, what was this, 16, 22? I'll, I'll put it up here because I got something. I ordered something for a friend, too. So I can't remember exactly whose was what. Um, but this is a dupe of the one of the Divine Rose palettes from Pat McGrath that I do not have. Um, and my daughter swatched them. I'll put in the swatches, but the finger swatches were so much better. You could see the color shift. And I was really, you know, curious how their duochromes would work compared to hers. And that, like, this crystal is gorgeous. Um, so where do we want to go? I, I really don't know what I'm doing yet on this one. Um, I'm going to start. Let's just go in. This is just a fluffy color prop brush, the E2. Let's go in with Mystic. And, you know, again, I apologize. I do not have the other one to compare it to, but we're just going to kind of judge it on its own, knowing that the colors are similar. And, and I'm going to say something about Pat McGrath shadows. They're not as impressive as you would think for $129. They're nice. They are. But like when you see the swatches, even when we do swatch, you know, I, my daughter and I do swatches at home, they never look like the swatches that she gets. Like especially the duochromes and things, I never get that kind of wow factor that I see in the pictures. And so I don't think I can, uh, I can say I'm going to buy a, you know, defend buying a 10 palette, $129 purchase. You know, it just, I don't know. I, I knew she had a sale. I almost bought one of the mothership palettes when they were cheaper. You know, I could do one on sale. And I have bought like some of the mini ones and again, they're okay, but they haven't been, I didn't think that they were absolutely stunning. So to get this, I'm really excited. <laughs> many brushes here. I need to start a declutter. Um, this is just a wet and wild brush. I'm going to go in with 
rare right here in the crease. And you know, especially since I have been very impressed by Alter Ego's quality. So I feel much better <laughs> spending, you know, 16 to 20 some bucks on this. And that blends very, very nicely. Very nicely. No idea what I'm going to do on my lids. That's the other problem. Again, this has like one, two, like two solid matte shades, two that have or like look like satin, maybe three that look like satin. Oh, I, I want more mattes. I'm okay. I would be okay with any palette that had just like two or three shimmers. That's all I need. I mean, I want shimmer. I don't want an all matte palette. But I want a little more matte. Okay, let me finger swatch a few things and see. This is the one I love. Can you can see? I'm hoping this picks up the shift between the pink and the white. I just don't know what else I want to do. Okay, let's try. I'm going to take a smaller brush and go into opaque here. on the outer like third of my lid since it's right here. I'm going to try with a brush putting on this, this crystal. And I have a feeling it'll probably just work better with my fingers, but maybe I'll just get a base down with this. Go in with, I would say either fingers or a wet brush, and I just really don't like a wet brush unless I have to. Let's try to, I mean, you can even see the shift in the pan, which I normally don't see too much. And again, I can't compare this to Pat McGrath's formula for this palette, but 
I like the formula on its own. Okay. Um, I, I don't think this is going to work, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm just dipping into that sacred, that glitter there. I'm just putting a little on right here. It's not too bad. Okay, now... small brush I'm gonna go back into rare here and then I'm gonna go into mystic um, I'm gonna start with rare just on the corner right here to the mystic to smoke it out a bit. So how is spring going for you guys? I mean, I don't know what the weather is like everywhere else, but I mean, last, it was Thursday, it was April 1st. Again, I'm in Cincinnati, so our weather changes constantly. Um, I'm just gonna take the same brush and dip into Spectral right here and put it in my corners. Um, yeah, it snowed. I actually went walking in snow. It wasn't a heavy snow, it was just some flurries. Um, But, and then today it's in the 70s, today's Monday. I just wish I could pick one and go with it. <laughs> Is it really that hard? All righty, let's, what I wanna do now? I don't think I'm gonna do eye like, um, black eyeliner but I am going to go into this is the Bambi Colourpop this is Meadow I'm just gonna go in with it kind of maybe open up my eyes a little bit What else? Anything new that's happened? Um, and then this is the Benefit the Real Mascara. I'm just, I'm not going to put a much on because I think I'm going to put lashes on. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this on my last time, I, but I, ooh, that's the, that's the magnifying part. I don't want to see that. Um, I have had my first shot, my whole, f you know, all three of us have had our, first dose of the vaccine um, I go back a week both my daughter and I actually go back a week from tomorrow because I got Moderna so I had to wait, wait four weeks Grace got the Pfizer so she only has to wait three um, so we both go back a week from tomorrow and my husband goes back a week from this upcoming Friday so in like three weeks the vaccine will be kicked in and we'll be fully vaccinated yay I'm so excited about that um, you know I don't know you know how it's opened up into other states um, Ohio now is anybody 16 or over is eligible I know for the longest time people were having problems finding appointments. Um, 
If you're having problems finding appointments, uh, let me know. Drop me a line. Give me some, you know, a way to contact you. I will help. Um, you know, I found, you know, some tips and tricks. Um, um, one I can tell you, both Walmart and if you have Kroger around you. Um, Kroger's our big grocery store chain. Both of those, they seem to open up their new appointments on midnight. And I don't know if it's midnight Eastern time or midnight the time of the store because I'm in Eastern time. So I always just check midnight my time. And that's when they open up a lot of new appointments. And uh, I was able to help get a lot of people appointments that way. But I know like, you know, now it's not so hard to get an appointment because they've opened up a couple really big vaccine spots here. But yeah, we all had the, got the first dose, no real concerns. I had about a week after I had what they called COVID arm, which is just a big red patch. It, didn't really even itch or anything like that, but it was just kind of like a big spot. But it went away. Um, lashes. I have been loving these Makeup Geek Isabella lashes. I've been wearing them all the time. I just find them so pretty. And I know there are different opinions on vaccines, but I'm full on the vaccine. You know, please, please, please vaccinate yourself, vaccinate your kids. You know, I had an aunt that I never knew because she died of whooping cough when she was like two or three. before vaccines or before a vaccine for it was invented. So please, you know. And as a parent of someone who is on the autism spectrum, autism is not a reason to not vaccinate. Oops, I got that too high. Um, it's not. Okay, where's my... These are such pretty lashes. And I did cut them down a bit. I can't believe I got that so high. down better clear and of course that's right where I have that really pretty color the color shifting color I mean, I've only been wearing lashes for like a year and a half now. And I feel like I've gotten pretty good about putting them on. But there's always, I always feel like on one of my eyes, I get this like one angry caterpillar edge that sticks out. I'm trying avoid that. Of course, it doesn't help if I stick my finger in my eyeball. Okay. Okay, I think
think I did a decent job there. Not horrible. All right, and finally, I think I am just gonna go ahead and mine as well. I did have the I have the my video with the Pat McGrath liquid lust lips, and this is the Divine Rose. So what better to wear it with? Okay, I have this problem with my lips that if I keep doing it, it's going to be like my eyes, my eyeliner, like where I keep going, oh, I'll fix it a little bit and go a little bigger here, and it just makes it worse. So I need to stop where I'm at. How's that eyelash looking? It's not too hairy caterpillar. Okay, so here's the finished look. Um, two new products I used were the contour and bronzer. Still not, uh, you know, a contour expert by any means, but I think it blended pretty well. Uh, and again, I'm hoping I'm not getting like when I get into regular light, I'm not going to have that harsh line. If it's there, I apologize. Now, bronzer was a pretty color, um, and I thought this worked really well. I mean, if you're into these tones, if you wanted to pick up the um, the Pat McGrath and just couldn't because of the cost, this is a really nice alternative. Let me show you. These are the two color duochrome ones. I'm hoping that's picking up on camera, but they're very, very pretty. I really think they did a good job. So there we have it. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, sorry about the TMI, <laughs> but I thought it was a funny story and you might enjoy it. So, <laughs> all right, until next time, I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.